So just first, could you just state your relationship with Brittany Murphy? Yeah, Brittany Murphy was my daughter-in-law mm -hmm. and I had, I met her once, but we had a Skype relationship. So mm -hmm. similar to what we're doing now, I would talk to her every week and oh. she was, um, she was a fantastic person. She had full of energy and fun, but she was terrified of dying. It was the one thing oh that she God, was always yeah. said, I'm going to die young. And it was something that she almost knew. And we would discuss that. And I would say to her, because um, I'm quite spiritual, but I didn't pick that up. Mm -hmm. But I did say to her, you know, you, it is what it is. I'm sure you'll be fine. You know, the sort of things that you would say. Mm -hmm. But it was a very, very strange and weird uh, way that she but does. Again, you seem realistic. I, d I don't understand Sharon Murphy. And I, I, there's so many unanswered questions that I have that you probably can't answer. Nobody can answer, right? I mean, you know, the only people that could probably answer are not with us anymore. However, Brittany after she died, um, her father got her hair tested, right, in 2013. And it came back with traces of heavy metal, which can sometimes mean rat poison, right? Now, when Simon passed away of the exact same thing that Brittany did, you know, pneumonia, anemia, um, did you not have any sort, you didn't want to get his hair tested. You didn't even I think. I did. I didn't even think about it. Not at that time. Okay. I didn't know if all this was going on. I thought that it was the mold in the house because they had terrible mold on the windows and mold, um, that isn't treated lets off spores and those spores can give you Legionnaire's disease. Uh, and there was something I pulled up, right? Uh, it was... I pulled it up. There was Dr. Cyril Wecht. He had said, um, based on the hair test in 2013, what that had uncovered that her father had said, you know, let's get this tested. What they uncovered, he said he would have reopened the case based on that, but nobody did. And this is my question. But why didn't they? I don't it, know. It, there was a huge cover up somewhere. And I yeah. don't know why. You see, I could understand Sharon killing Simon because yes. Simon took Shaq, took, Brit sorry, if I could confuse, Simon, no, it's fine. Simon took Brittany away from, mm -hmm. and, and, and they, you know, she was so, she was, do you understand codependency? Yes. Well, Sharon and um, Brittany had, were codependent. Yeah, okay. right. And, and her relationships, Brittany's never really worked out, right? I mean, b and before Simon, she'd never been married. No, and the thing is, you know, codependency, if you understand it, is it's very toxic. Mm. And so therefore, if you have a codependent relationship, then the fact of losing somebody mm -hmm. can be too much for you to bear. So you could actually do something. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying she did. I absolutely no. do. No, yeah, no, I'm sure. Just speaking from codependency. Mm -hmm. So you have that situation where you could imagine her hating Simon so much that he was taking her away from a daughter who she had controlled. Mm -hmm. And Simon was definitely taking control away from Sharon. He was stopping her, uh, Brittany doing things and making her do other things. Well, not making, but suggesting yeah. that she did other things. And it was definitely loosening the hold that she had. Perhaps she couldn't take it. I have no idea. Right. Why, why did you not fight to get his hair tested if but in, and I guess you are telling me that at the time you did not think anything sinister had happened you genuinely did not and that is why I think my mind I'm British mm -hmm. don't I'm not in the in the scene of Hollywood or anything like that mm -hmm. it's almost too phasmagorical for me to grasp that things like that could happen I, that sounds very naive, I know, mm -hmm. but I didn't, re I only thought of that. The only indication I had that things were really not right mm -hmm. was Sharon totally sabotaged the funeral, totally, of Simon. Um, oh. I didn't go to Britney's, I didn't go, I wasn't mm -hmm. there, but with Simon's, because they were terrified I was going to... Um, 
awful they did awful things really awful things when I think about it the week I was there because I, I, she phoned me at seven o'clock in the morning I was on a plane by midday what, what is the point of that well I think that they were all terrified of something all three of them were terrified of something who's who's know. all three of them Brittany Simon and Sharon. and Sharon you think oh wow well either they were all terrified of something but something was not right Yes, a hundred percent. Something is not right, and and I guess you believe something was covered up. I mean, right? This. Well, I can't. It's a difficult thing to say. I think something's covered up. I think possibly saying I don't think everything added up made is more sense. Things don't add up, yes. right? Yes, things I, don't I, add up. Yes, I can't say that there was any conspiracy. I can't say that things were wrong. All I can say for me personally, mm -hmm. things did not add up. Again, just the whole thing where, you know, it's like Britney's hair was in the process of being tested and, and they found these, this, you know, this metal. And then, you know, a judge was like, no, that's a ridiculous claim. And Sharon Murphy said, that's ridiculous. And Sharon Murphy also said it was ridiculous about the mold until it came time to sell the house. And then when it was time to sell the house, she was like, oh, I'm suing these contractors and these people because there is mold after all. So it's going to lessen the value of the house, you know? So I don't know. I was just like, she, this doesn't. She was very well aware of the uh, problem with the house and she was told by Simon on several occasions and I know that so mm -hmm. that is absolute a lie so she 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 doesn't see the truth like you or I yes but you just could not fathom at the time that there would be some sort of foul play and at this point almost 11 years later are you kind of just like you know it is what it is I'm not going to dig further into it because I've moved on I went through $30,000 in trying to get some of Simon's things and trying to get something because she said he had nothing. He had absolutely nothing, nothing at all. That's what she said, oh, Sharon? Yeah, oh, yeah till 48, he had nothing. Oh my God. No, so the thing is, and I couldn't, I didn't have the money to fight anymore. We got Brittany to feel, to be fearful without her. So I don't, yeah. think, I don't think she's a sort of person that I want to be in touch with, to be honest. I, I cannot believe that that 911 call where Simon had a Simon had a phone mm -hmm. and he called her for help. Sharon. And she, yeah. Yes. And this is on the phone. It was on the phone, but you know messages don't stay. No. They get wiped. Mm -hmm. So the thing is it only stayed for about a month. And that's clearly stated help me Sharon help me and she didn't 